Imagine opening the Pine City Pioneer on the morning of October 20th, 2021, and reading the headline, this sunken circus train full of gold business has gone too dang far. Gentlemen, you had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. According to local legend, a train derailed from these tracks in Pine City, Minnesota in the 1800s, plummeting down a steep hill into Devil's Lake and disappearing forever from history. Except there's no evidence that this ever happened. No train reported missing, no people reported missing, no newspaper accounts at all from the time. And yet, the legend persists. It evolves, it adds circus animals for some reason. This isn't so much the story of a train wreck, it's more of a train wreck of a story. Welcome to Minnesota Historia. I'm Haley, your guide to the lost train of Pine City. This is former newspaper editor, Mike Gaynor. Oh, sure. He wrote what I consider to be the best headline in the history of all printed media. This sunken circus train full of gold business has gone too dang far. So here we are, uh, we are on the railroad tracks uh, coming from the uh, south to the north and behind me is Devil's Lake. It's a very deep, very muddy lake. Supposedly it's about 80 feet deep. It's very difficult to find the bottom. And of course that's one of the things that has added to this, this legend over time, which is, uh, and would you like me to, 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 get, to get into it? My goodness, yes, get into it. So it was a, a dark and rainy night in 18 blankety blank when a train came rumbling down this track, a circus train, possibly filled with gold. <laughs> no, I can't do that, I can't, I'm sorry. Mike is understandably reluctant to give this story any more attention. It sounds great. That sounds like a wonderful story. But uh, in my opinion, at least, there's absolutely nothing to it. Of course, there's plenty of real history we could be talking about here. Pine City is more than just a lost circus train full of gold. It, it is. Believe it or not, it is. <laughs> it's much more. I'm Jan Ashmore at the Pine County Historical Society Museum and Event Center in Asco, Minnesota, just up the road from Pine City. But they have exhibits for all the towns in Pine County here. The museum is full of history from Pine County. There's just so much. There's a logging room, there's a textile room, there's a military room. There's a doll room, there's a wooden car, there's a replica of the Little Mermaid statue. And yet, all I came to talk about was this phony baloney circus train. I honestly have never heard of that. I don't know <laughs> how accurate it is. No, it's not accurate at all. But how did we even get here? Why am I bothering poor Jan with this? It's hard to know how a story like this gets started. Now, there are newspaper reports back from the 1800s saying that there were problems with the tracks, that the, uh, the, the tracks were slipping. Uh, and in fact, there's a newspaper story saying that they should have someone standing out on the tracks in order to keep anything from happening. So I believe this was about 1889 when that story was published. That's evocative, but hardly enough to launch an entire urban legend. But there is a lady who did some research back in the day who said that she'd talked to somebody who'd heard from their grandparents that a whistle was heard from a train. And then the train was never seen. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. It's classic storytelling, right? Pull together some threads, all of a sudden somebody says, maybe that train went into Devil's Lake. And then somebody else says, the train went into Devil's Lake? And away you go. Oh, people went crazy, that is, with theories about this train. One of the theories is that it happened back in the 1870s before there was a newspaper here. But once again, let's go back to that story from 1889 where they're talking about the condition of the tracks. So why don't they say, we need to avoid something bad from happening here again, like what happened on the horrible events of this night back in the 1870s. So why isn't that information there? Then you get into the, the, the next level of the conspiracy, which is, well, of course, they didn't put it in the record because they were hiding it. It's like we've got a whole circus train full of tinfoil hat-wearing truthers here. There's been a number of people who searched for the train in Devil's Lake. They found nothing. Go on. Back in 2010, and so I had just come to the newspaper, but then I heard there was the, the team, and they were out there diving, and so I took a couple of pictures of the team diving in the lake, and shockingly, 
they were, they were unable to find anything because, yeah. Then there was a number of years later, a team of folks came out from Grantsburg, uh, great folks. So they decided we're gonna do it in a different way. We're gonna go out in the winter with a magnetometer and we're gonna walk around on the surface of the lake and try to do sort of a survey of the bottom of the lake to try to find if there's a possible train down there. But the last I heard was that they had just given up on the, on the search, so. Well, all right then. Seems like that should be the end of it. Right, Mike? I became aware back in 2020 that there had been some changes to the uh, Wikipedia page for Pine County, and in fact, some additions to the tale. It was not just a train now, and it was not just a circus train, because those, those rumors had been around for a while. But now it was a circus train full of Confederate gold being transported to Canada. The Confederate angle is new and weird. I did a little research, figured out that it was somebody had done this from their phone, so it seemed to me that just somebody was having a good time. Okay, fine. A good time was had, but surely this must be the end of it, right? Right? But then I was, uh, uh, I, I came across this. I'm a member of the Pine County Historical Society, a proud member. I think they do uh, great work, and they were sending out the October 2021 edition. And uh, they had a thing in here on page two, an article on the lost train of Pine County. And I was immediately thought, oh no. It starts with a quick recap of the stuff we already know, but then... Other theories suggest that a circus train. Circus, that's the only thing in quotes. Filled with Confederate gold, was being shipped to Canada to help with the continued insurrection against the North. In this theory, the unruly animals caused a derailment. Was not expecting a circus animal mutiny. Meanwhile, back at the museum. I didn't know this was gonna be a quiz, no. Jan <laughs> does not know who wrote the article. That's interesting. Well, somebody has heard of this. I don't know who wrote it because there's no name by it. I felt bad springing this on her. To be fair, this is Jan's first month writing the newsletter. I've been volunteering for a while for different events, but I just became involved with the uh, doing all the socials just like July. <laughs> Circus Animal Mutiny, just a simple mistake from an unnamed volunteer at a delightful county museum. In every region, there's fun stories like that that's gonna be talked about, it's gonna be mentioned, but that's definitely not the priority is to you know fill your head full of folklore that's not true. Our priority is not the folklore of it. The priority is to really have people come and engage with actual history. And that definitely is 100% the absolute end of this urban legend. You know, I'll, I'm just, ta you know, people are talking about Bigfoot pushing the train into Devil's Lake. Uh, you know, I just am talking about, I'm just asking questions here. Mike, be serious. This is the kind of quandary that gives editors uh, existential crisis and gray hairs. Someone could use the article that I wrote as evidence that there might be more to this story, that this might be going on. And I'm very nervous about this very documentary that now somebody's going to say, did you hear that there's a train filled with gold that no one has found in the bottom of this tiny, mysterious lake in Pine County? There, there is no train. Don't waste your time. And please, let us nobody get hurt doing this. Too serious, Mike. But the question remains, why won't this story go away? Don't we all want there to be something in the bottom of that lake? You know, this is, this is just part of who we are. This is like human nature. Uh, we, we, we want the story to be bigger than life. And, uh, you know, I get that. I, 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 part of me wants it to be true. Uh, I would be delighted to be proved wrong, but, uh, but I'm not. <laughs> Thanks for watching Minnesota Historia, your guide to all things quirky in Minnesota history. In future episodes, we'll be going even further and deeper into the quirky, soft underbelly of this very weird state. Yeah. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And please become a member of PBS North to support projects just like this.